Hello Cupcake Army. I tried editing this and doing this so many times. So this is going to be unedited. Um, so a lot of people have been doing their YouTube story because of the five year thing going, you know, the five anniversary thing. So I figured, you know what, let's do mine. Hopefully this is the last time, please God. Okay, so I started my YouTube journey in 2006 when I first joined uh, Facebook and YouTube around the same time. and. I looked up really random videos, but I remember looking up copyrighted stuff a lot because I wanted to watch a lot of shows that weren't available in Canada. So American shows a lot of times and uh, Asian shows. I remember watching like Full House, which is a Korean drama, uh, all the way through and Hana Yaridango on these sites because it was so easy to do back then and uh, the copyrighted stuff wasn't as heavily enforced. But I remember one day logging on. And uh, I saw that uh, this person was featured, this girl, and it was the Hill 88. And then I figured out that she had a lot of subscribers, so I decided to make a channel so I could post comments and stuff. And uh, I remember watching her religiously. She was really funny, and I thought she was great. And she made really hilarious videos, always made a laugh. But she always mentioned this thing called Boheme, and I didn't know. At first I thought Boheme was just you know, a friend outside the internet world, and then quickly realized that this was somebody else she admired on YouTube. So then I followed Boheme for a little bit, and then realized that there was this whole community, this whole ball of them, that were all, you know, kind of interconnected and, you know, were cool and all that. So I decided to follow every one of them. Every time somebody would be, you know, in a collab video or I figured out this person or this person or this person was mentioned, I would look them up. So I remember Zipster, Naltz, uh, Brookers because she went with the Hill 88 one day. And so I started following that, then I found like the Japanese community, like give me a break man and all that. And then over in, you know, the United Kingdom, Narimon and all his little gang. So I started following all these people. Uh, and then I saw the collab channels like Five Awesome Girls and all that. And I really wanted to be a part of it, but I was very shy at that time. So I remember just uploading like these really mundane videos, especially uh, but in the high school, I was uploading all these little stupid video clips um, onto YouTube, you know, when you're at school and you're, hi, 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 bye, kind of thing, or, uh, you know, running on a hill or something really stupid. And, uh, but I wanted to get more into it, so I started putting up these uh, music videos I made with copyrighted stuff, and also, um, after a while I got bored of that, so I wanted to get more into it and wanted people to see me, so I did singing videos. And, uh, yeah, those weren't very good, and I knew they weren't very good, but that's all I had at the time, and I wanted to improve, and I thought, this is a great way to do it, no one's going to see my videos, but I, I'll get some constructive criticism here and there, and that's how it's going to get done. Come uh, 2008 of January, I got banned because of the copyrighted stuff on my channel, uh, two videos were taken down at the same time, so I was banned, and I got really angry at everybody, and I was so angry, it's like, as if they can't, they did that to me, you know, seriously, anybody would have done that to me, uh, so I decided that I was going to start a new channel, and I was only going to upload my singing videos, nothing else, it was completely about me, nothing else because I was tired of uploading people's clip, and it was never me in the clips, it was always like friends. So I did that, went to work, came back, and I figured out this still live video got a lot of views. So I was like, oh, that's interesting, went to bed. And then the next day it doubled, so I was like, that's really weird actually, 3,000 views, I've never even gotten close to that. So then, kept doubling, kept doubling, so I got really nervous because all the comments were very negative, like, fuck you, you know, you're a retard, go kill yourself, you know, this isn't even fucking funny, what the fuck are you doing, do you even know what beta means, and, oh my god, it was all these negative comments, so I figured out that this blog was featuring the top ten portal covers, and I was number seven, I believe, or something to the point. And uh, it wasn't very good, and people, I don't know why I was on there, I kept thinking, wow, there's no better ones out there, like, seriously, I shouldn't have uploaded that video. And I regretted it, and I remember being very nervous, I hated going on that to view the stupid things, and, you know, you get the positive comment here and there, but they were flooded with, you're fucking gay, you're stupid, it's about Y-O-U-R. 
and all these stupid negative comments and I, I was afraid. I, I have to admit, I was. I was very anxious. I didn't want to log off to any internet. I remember at night thinking, didn't want to go to sleep. I couldn't sleep very well. Um, thinking this is it, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done, you know, people are gonna kill me or something to the point, I, not kill me, but you know, I'm never gonna live it down. And so a few days later, on uh, a blog, somebody said really very nice things that were basically saying screw off to all the haters, and um, I figured out after <laughs> it was Jonathan Colton. Not long while after, just a few minutes after I figured out it was Jonathan Colton, so I jumped for joy. Didn't even realize a little bit later that Will Wheaton had written about me. I was so excited Will Wheaton wrote about me, and I remember somebody had PM'd me about that. Um, I was so happy, and that was like, that made me so happy uh, to realize that, it made me realize actually that people were just going to be douches no matter what, and that, you know what, I'm going to do my own thing no matter what they say. So I, I decided to keep at it, and I did thank you vlog, and I decided to, that I would keep doing vlogs, and uh, I tried to give up a little bit on singing, because <laughs> not that great, and I decided I should improve on my own, because that wasn't great. So I only got a few hundred subscribers from that, not many, but enough, and I decided to vlog more, and I was getting better, and um, I decided to change my style, and I was trying to invest in a camera, and I remember I stole my sister's camera, and I broke it. So my first few little videos uh, were on that stupid camera, and because I couldn't edit with my other camera, they were unedited for a while. And then I finally got this little girl. I don't, the, my Canon camera, which I've had for almost two years now. And uh, I went to Anime North with it. No, I didn't go to Anime North. I bought a Sony, and it didn't upload very well, so I bought myself a Canon. Thank you to Future Shop who let me return it. So I went to... Um, 888 with this. I remember this. And I was get. I met all these great people. Like, Sheikha was my favorite, beyond my favorite celebrity to meet there. Well, YouTube celebrity. Sexy Phil, Olga K, uh, Naders07. Uh, but the people that were closer to me, Miss Banana Cheek and uh, Tyler, the original Tyler. Like, the original Tyler only had a thousand subscribers. And he's big. Like, oh my god. And same thing with Wadur Wadur. Like, now the huge celebrities. Like, well, for me personally, I'm really proud of them. And uh, just meeting all these people, the Sly's Fox, lovely Leona, I met so many great people. Uh, Turk the Epic Robot and Mike FF7, I believe, and uh, I don't see them much anymore, and I wish I did. They were really great. Uh, but I met all these great people, and uh, come that August, I got contacted through Facebook with somebody who'd seen my channel and said they're from Laurentian, so I was like, uh oh. Uh, but they wanted me to come do a radio show, and I thought they're going to do an interview. So I get to the radio station, and I realize they want to give me my own show, which doesn't happen a lot. I mean, usually it's a volunteer thing, but, I mean, to get offered a show, that's pretty cool, and I, I still love that. And I still have, um, so I started doing that show, and I started doing uh, uh, live video cam chats, which I can't do anymore, unfortunately. Uh, but I still do the show, and I think I've improved a lot, and it helped me get into this other medium that I never would have thought about doing. And I even got, hold on guys, I even got this over here. I mean, it's a little bit testy. Uh, most favorite show of 2008, because people voted for me through... Uh, Twitter and through YouTube people voted for me so I won this little award. I was really proud of that. Um, I'm proud that I have this whole medium to meet people. It's the best thing ever. And I've improved vlogging wise, I've improved doing the radio show, and I've improved doing all this together. And I'm still growing and people are still joining me and I meet these wonderful people through YouTube. And uh, I've always had very positive things to say about YouTube, and people always ask me about this, but I always have very positive things to say about YouTube, and I always want people to know about the social aspect uh, and the social networking and the whole community behind YouTube, because a lot of people here don't know about it. So if you have ever a chance, I say, you know what, upload a video, you got nothing to lose. It made me a better person, it made me who I am, and you know what, I, I think you won't regret it, just look it up. Especially the YouTube community. It's the greatest internet site ever. That's it.